Hey friends, I hope that you're um, having a great week and I just wanted to come to you and give you just a word of encouragement and to remind you that to be born again is to enter into a love relationship with God. The scripture tells us that he pours his love into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. God, And it's God's love for us, not, not our love for God, that sustains us. It really must be the beginning point for everything, that he loves me and he loves you. His love is in me, his love is in you, and it's just waiting to be expressed uh, through each one of us. So I wanted to come to you and remind you from Romans chapter 5, verse 3 through 5. He starts off, he says, not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who he has given to us. So I, I think... Um, verse 5, we need to read that almost first before we understand what's going on in verse number 3 and 4. But he says that his love is poured into us through the Holy Spirit. So then when we look at verse 3 where he says, but we rejoice in our sufferings, well then we begin to understand that our sufferings are a part of his divine purpose in our lives. We rejoice as those who are loved because we realize our sufferings bring about our transformation. Uh, so I'm not a victim. Um, I'm the beloved child of God. And he's using all of these afflictions, these sufferings, these trials, these tribulations, if you will, He's using them all for my good. Uh, the, the, he's using them for my good. He's using them for the good of his kingdom or to advance his kingdom. So I can give thanks to him in these sufferings. The scripture tells us, give thanks in all things. And if you just think of suffering all by itself, you think, how, how, could, I, how could I give thanks for suffering? How could I give thanks for for illness? How could I give thanks for afflictions? How could I give thanks for, for Parkinson's? Well, because I know that I'm loved and his love has been poured into my heart through the Holy Spirit. So all I have to do now is realize that none of this is coming to get me, to pay me back for some failure. This is all a part of his divine plan because that suffering, he says, produces endurance. Uh, the idea of endurance is a steadfastness. It's what keeps me on course. If you forget that you're loved, man, you're in trouble when the trials come. If you forget that you're loved, uh, you're in trouble when the illness comes. But when you know that you're loved, you realize that those sufferings are what God uses to produce a steadfastness in us and to produce us or to keep us on course with him. And then that endurance, he says, produces character. Um, I think the idea for character really is this authenticity. It's uh, producing, in, producing in me uh, uh, the authentic self, that I am who God says I am. I am a new creation. So that suffering produces in me uh, an enduringness and a trial produces in me this steadfastness that produces in me a character that doesn't run when things get hard. Character uh, 
then produces hope. And consider that. He says that hope will never leave us ashamed because he's working in me. He's working in you. He's working through me. He's working through you. That, that means what, no matter what comes into my life, I can say with confidence, you know what? He's got me. He's got this. I don't always understand the why in the sense of why this is happening. I just know I'm not a victim. I am love. So suffering produces, he says, endurance. Endurance produces character. Character produces hope, a confident expectation of the future. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given us. So let this kind of settle in your heart to my, uh, to this, this morning and, and, and simply say, you know, you know what? I, I, I'm loved. His Holy Spirit is in me. And these trials that I'm going through, they're not wasted. They're producing his transforming work in me. And now, Lord, here I am. Lord, live through me. Love through me. We know that he tells us in John that we will be known as his disciples because of our love for one another. And much of that is manifest and produced and revealed through the trials that we face in life. Hey, you have a great week. I love you and have a great day. If this blesses you, pass it on.